you better let me put the fur pulling stick on you. You can't go in there, the doctor all raggedy. You, you're being a butthead this morning. There you are. We got to get your collar on in a minute because you got to go here in about an hour. Hi, Lily. There's Rooster. You want to go see Miss Lily? Go visit Miss Lily. Go visit Lily. Go see her. Well, good morning, baby girl. You got your shows on? Yeah, we left them on for you all night, huh? Yeah, Rooster has to go to the doctor. And you know what we're going to do? As soon as Rooster gets healed up after a few days, we're going to just... We're going to try to mingle you two up. Yeah. <coughs> and then maybe you can come live in the house with me and Rooster. And let Wally and let or and let Millie and Tilly have the dog apartment. Daddy'll cut a hole right there for them. And then they they can come in here and you could be in the house with me and Rooster. That way you don't gotta be alone. Yeah, I know you're sad, girl. I know. She's taking it uh pretty good, but she kind of freaked out last night. She was running all over looking for Waldo, but you know, he, he was laying right there when he died. She seen it. She came over and sniffed him. She knows she knows what happened. But she's gonna be okay. You're gonna be a you're gonna be a house dog. I don't know about having your big stinky butt in there. Yeah, we're gonna have yeah. But I think Rooster will like having a friend. You guys could get in plot all kinds of trouble against Daddy. Plot all kinds of trouble. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. But we'll see. Okay, and then that way, Millie and Tilly have a nice warm place for winter. And you're going to have a warm place for winter. Yeah, but we may, we're we going to have to do some yard modifications. Yeah, we'll expand the, the front yard into part of the other yard. So you guys got more room. Okay, you get some rest, okay, baby girl? I got to take Rooster to the doctor. She's having major surgery. Yeah, she'll be okay. Get her out there. I just put her collar on and brushed her. And she knows that means she's going somewhere. But little does she know. She's going to be very angry when I drop her off. Yeah, we got to brush the front of you. Let's brush the front of you. You can't go no. You can't go no doctor looking like that. Look how smooth and soft you are. And all them loose hairs, they're gonna fly all over the rolling machine when we're driving. Yeah. Oh man, you're a mess. Are you ready to go for a ride? Yeah. You don't look too enthused. Let's comb your hair. Okay. Let's get you brushed down some more. Are you ready? Rooster. Yeah, uh, we got your bed in the truck. Well, I'll probably pick you up in the other truck because it's got air conditioning. Yeah? You smell brother, don't you? Yeah, he was the last one riding this truck. He liked this one. Here. Say, I'm going to be good. Are you ready to go in there? You know where you're at. The most expensive hotel in the world. Oh, no. It's not that expensive. You ready to go on out and get in there? You'd be good for them. Well, we're waiting on the call to come get Miss Rooster, and I'm sitting here in the Lily Lounge. This is the Lily Lounge, and we are watching TV. We're watching a show together. Ain't we, girl? Yeah, you're just loving your bed. I know. You do when you're clicking with your teeth. Yeah, that's when you do that when you're when you're excited doing your clickings. <laughs> what are these silly puppy dogs doing on TV? I look on the camera there and I see her laying there. She's watching this thing. Yeah, I'm trying to come in here and not let make her be so lonely. She's handling things okay. But we're going to see 
and give Rooster a few days to heal up, and we'll we'll see what happens there. I don't, she she does not like going inside the house. We'll try, <laughs> but I don't want her out here by herself all the time, do we, Lily? I said, do we, Lily? Oh, okay. You gonna watch your shows? Yeah, she's watching them. Yep, yeah, she's a good girl. You know how long we've had you? You know how long? Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Well, we've had you since you was a witty bitty baby. Witty bitty baby. <laughs> she's not getting so upset that time. All right. Thank you. Rooster's going to be mad when I go get her. Yeah, she's going to be mad. She's going to say, you tricked me. But she's going to feel better in a few days. Yeah. All right, let's, let's watch this show. Did you get some teeth pulled? Yeah, is that why you're doing that silliness with your mouth? Because you ain't used to not having seven teeth missing? That's right, you had seven teeth and you're loopy. Yeah, you're loopy, but you was a good girl. And I brought the truck with AC. Yeah, all right, let's get home. And you can get back in your chair. She's sitting there. She can't, She doesn't understand where her teeth went. But I bet you don't hurt no more, do you? Seven bad teeth. Okay, well, you'll thank me later. You're not now. Oh, yeah, she's definitely out of it. She wanted to go sleep in the lobby floor in there. Okay, we're going to get home. We're only a few minutes away. And just like that, you're back home, sitting in your sitting in your stoop. She won't look at me. She will not look at me. She's still got her front teeth, so she'll have her smile still. <laughs> don't tell me that girl don't hold a grudge. Okay. But you're, you're going to feel much better in a few days. Probably already do. Seven teeth. No, it is not time. It's only 3.30. You don't eat. We're going to have to start creeping your dinner time up a little bit. You know, because of the daylight savings that's coming. But not right now. You can still wait about another half hour for supper. I didn't have time to cook you guys a feast today, so we're going to finish up the last can. And then you guys ain't getting no more can, do you hear me? I don't. You're going to back talk me? See? That's how I get treated. And what you doing, young lady? Yeah. You know, you can't pet one head, and this head has to be popped in there. Yeah. You just can't pet one head. You gotta pet both heads. Because you're a head hog. Yeah, you are. You're a head hog, too. See, but your brother Waddles and your sisters, no, they don't have names. What are they doing? Oh, they're out in the yard exploring. They are loving this. So I think tomorrow... There you are. I don't think I've been on the camera once today, have I? Maybe once. Tomorrow I'm going to get out here and we'll build them a little roost where they can come out here and sit. Because the, these things here, they're just sticks I stuck in there. Uh, you need about maybe an inch and a quarter for a at least this this breeds uh, feet. I see a lot of people put metal pipes and things like that out there for them. You don't want to do that. Summertime or wintertime, those pipes get cold. They could actually, I've seen them where they've froze to it. You don't, you don't want that to happen. So uh, when I build them, I'll, you know, we may do that tomorrow. I don't know. Today was kind of took up by a rooster and, you know, getting her teeth. They took seven teeth. And uh, I'd like to say thanks to my vet, Southside uh, Vet Clinic in Waldron. They always do a great job. And they offer, you know, their fees, the cost is what people can afford. So $150 uh, 
uh, to get seven teeth pulled that's pretty good and they you know they're not they're not out to get rich and that's the way it should be yes they should have a profit yes they should make money because they went to school they learned that but some of them are just ridiculous what they charge and they don't they've never done that with me and always done it right by me so i guess that's it for today you know i do this every day for the month for furry tales rescue all the proceeds will go to them but i'm videoing what i'm doing in my daily life and the last 10 days haven't been the greatest but yeah, it's it's what's going on man and that's all i can film but i thank you guys for watching uh we are a little over or, or about a 400 dollars on this channel so far and only 70 on the other channel so if you guys can go check it out on the other channel that'll help that a good thing to do if you got an extra tv in a bedroom somewhere put on one of my playlists and let it play the old videos count too uh the videos are doing okay but after a few days you know the shelf life of a video isn't very long and they're not getting the residual views uh youtube is definitely not putting them out there to anybody but my subscribers they say they are but they're not because they're just not getting the views a channel of my size should but we're just going to have to deal with it so if you got an extra tv to, that you can put on my playlist and you can leave the room do let it play in the end of each video i am in that little window there will be my playlist you just click on it and it'll go through all the videos in the playlist and that helps earn more for the rescue so thanks for watching guys i'm gonna get this out to you and we'll hopefully have something more positive the rest of the month happy trails